almost myself because of how debilitating the anxiety and depression had become. For so long, I wandered around aimlessly lost, not really knowing why I believed the things I was believing at the time. Hell, for so long, I believed that my life was at risk merely just because I was black and gay, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Something that's always bothered me about being black and gay, that I was always told how to think. That because I'm black, I have to be a Democrat and I have to stand with Black Lives Matter. Because I'm gay, I have to stand with and co-sign everything the LGBTQ community does and claims to be. I've had enough. And like you, I don't like being told how to think, I don't like being told what to do, and I don't like being told how to feel. The past few years have been more than eye-opening, and in this video, we're gonna discuss why I don't identify myself as a Democrat and the top five reasons why I lean more center-right on certain issues. And what sucks the most about these issues that I will talk about is that no one can really be open in their views about this. A lot of people are scared to speak out on this in fear of being canceled and doxxed and to some people it's just not worth the risk and it sucks. But if you want to speak out about this, hell, not even just speaking out, but just in general, you don't want to be doxxed, then I highly recommend you taking a look at today's sponsor, Aura. It is genuinely concerning the amount of our private information that is just out there on the internet. From people getting doxxed to the nonstop spam calls or hell, even the emails for things you didn't even sign up for in the first place, it's too much. The problem is that these data brokers pull any information they can find from you online and sell it for profit, which is beyond shady and creepy that not just these companies, but anybody online can just do a quick Google search and find out a lot of information about you and where you live. However, with Aura, this all comes to an end. It's a service that protects you and all your information and does the work of a lot of different apps in one. They do the reaching out and tell data brokers to remove your information because by law, they're required to remove your information when you ask, but they make an incredible hard to ask to do so, so let Aura handle that. On top of that, they got the spam call protection, identity theft protection, financial fraud protection, it's a VPN, it does so much under one app that is nationally recognized and respected. It's digital protection for everything that matters, and given that my entire life is online, I'm glad that I have Aura to protect me. It's easy to use, it's sleek, and it's a one-stop shop that I've honestly been looking for because it does so much in one app. There's literally an app for everything, and it just simplifies it all. So you have a choice, either you can continue to let people profit and exploit your private information online or you can go to aura.com slash amir to get protected that is a-u-r-a dot com slash amir to start your two-week free trial and the link is always in the description below Black Lives Matter. I used to be in the streets marching with BLM until I realized that they only care about black lives when it's at the hands of a white man. I used to believe that I would get shot and killed by the police just for being black until I realized that more people get struck by lightning than black and our men get shot by the police. I also used to believe that America was the most horrible and racist country to be in until I traveled abroad to other countries and realized and understood why so many people try to immigrate here in the first place. Black Lives Matter really took my fear of being black to the next level. Level. For so long, I felt that because I was black, I had to just go along with the narrative. I have to be a Democrat. I have to stand with BLM. But that couldn't be further from the truth. You're allowed to come to your own conclusions and think for yourself. I went down to my first BLM rally back in 2017, and I was just taken aback at what I saw. It was my first and last rally. Why is it that when I was bringing up black on black crime or the lack of fathers in the home, all of a sudden I'm deflecting? All of a sudden I'm an Uncle Tom? I'm a coon? Why? I thought this was Black Lives Matter, and we're gonna talk about all the lies lives that are all the black lives that are being lost but that wasn't the case and then I, while I was sitting there I'm like why are they going towards the interstate and marching and blocking traffic what does this have to do with anyone that's merely just going about their day what does this have to do with anybody or an ambulance that's behind that can't get to the hospital now because you sit here blocking traffic because you think you're oppressed for being a black man in America when it, child it turned me off so much. It was a liberal media, Democrats, BLM telling me that white supremacy is a threat to black people in America, and I'm sorry, it's just not. When was the last time a black person's life has been affected by someone in a white hood? The, the Klansman is, is the least of my worries here in America. BLM wanted me to believe that white people are damaging black lives, but I don't see how. During 2020, it wasn't the KKK that was out here shutting down streets, it was black people. It wasn't the KKK out here burning down and looting black owned businesses, it was black people. It wasn't the KKK that killed 91% of black people that year, it was other black people. At some point, black people have to take a step back and stop playing the victim for these situations and take accountability for how we act and how our culture promotes certain things. We need to examine how we're impacting our own environment and not how white people have anything to do with this because they don't, okay? Maybe they did in the past. There are some horrible things that America's, that, that we've done to black people in America, but listen, 
It is 2024. There's nothing that I can do that uh, some white person can't. We can't change what happened to us, but we can always change going forward. And that's what I'm focused on. I'm focused on being the change going forward, taking what we have and building on that. But we can't do that. When all we're doing is just focusing on the past and just thinking that we can't get certain things because the white man's above us, the white man's oppressing people in America. No, we're past that and we're beyond that. We can be and do anything we want to be as a black person in America. And I don't hear Democrats promoting that message. They always want to talk about promoting black voices, black voices this, black voices that, but it's never, ooh, we'll get into this later, but it's never for the merit. It's never for what that black person is doing. At this point, it's merely just because they're black. But as a black man in America, I do not stand with nor support or condone the Black Lives Matter organization because what have they done for black people? Yeah, they raised nearly $100 million. Yeah, they bought like three mansions, but what have they done for the black community? What did donating to Black Lives Matter, what did marching, what did posting that black square do for black Americans here in America? Please tell me. What did what what did they do? What did they solve? Where are the solutions that came from all that? BLM pushed me away from liberals for this very reason. And I was looking to the right and over here talking about all lives matter. But when you sit back and think about it, we got black lives matter, Asian lives matter, Hispanic lives matter, indigenous lives matter, Ukraine lives matter, Palestine lives matter. Like it's apparent that all lives matter. Again, BLM with the constant lies that my life is under attack by the police force in America. And that's just not true. There's no data to suggest that I need to be ducking and hiding from police. White liberals telling me that as a black man, I'm oppressed and we need to fight for equal rights so that we can be seen as equal. You homegirl, you're not above me. Just cause you white and pale, that don't mean nothing to me. You don't have more rights than me. I ain't getting sprayed by no water hose. And I don't know, no ma nobody's master, two bushels of cotton. I, no, it's literally 2024. I keep saying that, but like we're past all of this idea that black people are just so oppressed and have it down and bad and that we're just in the shambles. No. And then they also say black lives need reparations. For what? How we want reparations when we tearing down our own communities nonstop. It's the Democrats and the liberals that kept telling me that yeah, black people have it so bad and that black people are so far behind. How and where? I'm I'm not about to sit here and really think and live a life that I'm that I'm living the same life that my grandparents are living in the 60s, great grandparents are living in the 1910s, and great good grandparents that are over here on the fields uh, picking cotton that I'm living the same life as them. I'm not. I'm I'm just not and it's nowhere in comparison. I am my ancestors dream. Everything, ooh, everything they have ever wished for, I have accomplished and have and more. And that goes for a lot of black people in the United States today. We are their dream. We are free. There is there is so much opportunity out there for us to grab and go get, and we can do that. It just always just blew my mind that I was being told all these things from you know the more liberal side and democratic side of Black Lives Matter, but it's not motivating. It's not inspiring, and a lot of it just isn't true. You know, ninety percent of Black people vote Democrat, but why? Our communities are rotting, and we're blaming white people for literally everything without realizing that we're voting for the same people and the same policies decade over decade. Like, what is the harm in trying something new? Hell, a lot of Black people are out there voting Democrat, but not even understanding why they're voting Democrat. They're just doing it because that's the expectation that Black people have. Whereas white people, they're all over. They are all sides of the fence. They got white liberals, white Republicans. They're all over. They have the conversations, debates. They try to get to solutions, but then you have black people voting all Democrat. And the second you have a black person that's on the other side, you don't, you barely won't even talk to them. You just shut them down. Like, how is it that we can't even communicate as a community and we want all, but we want all this change? The math isn't mathing. It all just became so frustrating and that's why I just stepped away from all of it. Do I believe that Black Lives Matter? Do I believe that there are some injustices that are still happening to Black people and we need to work on it? Yes, I'm blacker than 11.59 p.m. I care about my life, okay? But I don't need to stand with this organization, Black Lives Matter. I don't need to stand and be a devout Democrat and devout liberal to believe and have those thoughts. I think for myself and you can too. The LGBTQ community. Why should what I do in private automatically define my worldview, politics, habits and culture. How come if one is gay, they're automatically lumped into this LGBTQ community, but if someone's straight, they're just straight. Like why can't gay people have that? There is no straight community. Straight people don't make being straight their entire identity, but for some reason for gays, that is their entire identity. And then it's like me saying that automatically makes me some type of homophobic person, even though I'm gay. Like it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up y'all. The LGBTQ community and Democrats and liberals have just gone extremely too far left for me. You'll find drag queens reading 
training the little kids. They're pushing the transitioning on the little kids. They're promoting and and pushing, you know, these pride parades that are not, that's full of nothing but degeneracy onto these children. It's just nothing there and it's too much for me. And it's crazy because it's the LGBTQ community and the Democrats that swear up and down that they're the party of diversity and inclusion and acceptance. But no, they're only for equality if your thoughts are equal to theirs. That's it. Other than that, you're kicked out. You don't think it's okay for men and women to share the same locker room? Up, oh, you're transphobic now. You don't think it's okay for men and women to compete in sports together? Up, oh, you're transphobic now. You don't think it's okay for 12 year old girls to cho optionally choose to have a double mastectomy? Up, oh, you're transphobic now. Like literally all it takes is for you to have an opinion and you're all of a sudden labeled a bigot, homophobic, transphobic, the list goes on. And I'm, I just got tired of it. It's ghetto, it's played out. I don't need any of that and you don't either. They're here saying that all Republicans are homophobic where? If anything, I see that Republicans just want the kids out of it. But when it comes to being gay, yeah, they don't like it. But shit, I don't like straight people. I don't like what straight people do in bed. And straight people don't like what gay people do in bed. We can agree to disagree and keep it pushing. And that's what I do see them doing is keeping it pushing. But it's the liberals. It's the Democrats that start holding us back. Kids this, trans this. Leave it alone. When you really look at it for what it is, I'm hard pressed to find some Republicans that really do genuinely hate me. Are they there? Yes, there's fringes on both sides. But in regards to accepting my opinion, letting me live my life, I I see way more Republicans just being more chill with just letting me be and exist. As long as you know, I'm not being crazy. Majority of the center-right people and Republicans that I come across, they just don't like the degeneracy that they see that mainstream media, the leftists and the LGBTQ community is promoting and highlighting. Which personally, I totally understand because even myself, I don't identify, I don't, I don't get along with the LGBTQ community as a whole. I don't like the pride parades. I don't like all the things with the children. I don't like a lot of the things that go on. And that's okay for me to, to do. If you're gay out there, it's okay for you not to like all the little things about the LGBTQ community, but that also shouldn't just make you a transphobic, homophobic bigot. Again, they always hipper and holler about diversity this, diversity that, when a lot of them are just a bunch of copy and paste clones. Like for some gay people, they just wanna chill. They see straight people chilling and gay people wanna chill too. Why do I have to like the drag queens? Why do I have to watch RuPaul Drag Race? Why do I gotta be all promiscuous on Grindr? I, I don't get it. And it's, oh, it's so sad and it frustrates me because there's so many young gays out there that see the leftist gay people, the LGBTQ community, and they think they have to be that. And I'm saying that from experience because when I came out the closet, I flew out that closet. When I, 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 oh my gosh, I really thought I had to be in that culture. I had to download a grinder. I had to hook up all the time. I had to love the drag queens. I had to wear the rainbows. And that's not true. It's okay for you to be gay and, and just, be, the gayest thing about you literally is what you do behind a closed door. You don't have to be in this big community. You don't have to do all these things and follow all these rules. You don't, it's played out. You really don't have to. And I don't like the pressure in how the LGBTQ community and mainstream media, the Democrats, the leftists, how they're promoting and highlighting what gay is. Because a lot of the times, this is not how it is. This isn't to say that there's anything wrong with the feminine gays out there, do you? There's obviously feminine things about me. My hands and wrists is limp, flying all over this damn screen. And I love Beyonce, I'm out here twerking. I get, I get it, trust me. But I'm talking to the people who think they have to be this copy and paste clone, this, this idea of what gay is. You literally, it sounds so cliche, but just be yourself. It is okay. Again, it's all just frustrating. And it's for that reason, the LGBTQ community really pushed me away from liberals and Democrat policies because what they're saying and what they're doing is, is so far removed from my life and the things that I like to promote and talk about, I don't even relate with them. And when you do take into account a lot of these Republican bills and laws, like the don't say gay bill law or the trans exclusionary bills in America, when you really look into what the laws are for what they are, they're not that bad and they're not what the Democrats are saying they are. I mean, I'm in Tennessee, that whole drag ban for Tennessee, they don't want little kids to be in with front of these drag queens. And I have that in other videos to talk about that, but there's valid reasons and concerns why some parents feel that way. The don't say gay bill in Florida, it wasn't necessarily a don't say gay. It was a, hey, let's try not to teach these kids about sexuality in first and second grade. There's a lot of nuance to these bills and it just takes you to not watch some random YouTube video, to not 
read a headline, but to actually go into the bill and read it for yourself to come up with your own conclusions. The border wall. How can we sit here and complain about how bad America is, how America doesn't give a crap about its citizens, how we need to change, how we need to afflict inflation, et cetera, et cetera. But then we're also fine with giving free housing, credit cards, health insurance, all these perks to illegal immigrants. Like the Democrats are raving about how bad America is, but then they're quick to usher in all these illegal immigrants. Like that's low key kind of fake. Like if America is as bad as you say it is, why do you want more people to come here? If you care about these people, why would you want to bring them into the place that you hate the most? What, so they can see how bad it is? It's like clearly they're coming over here for a reason and that reason being is because how great America is and all the benefits that they're getting on behalf of the Democrats pushing for these policies. Like honestly, like even when I was more liberal, this is one of the topics that was I was always on the fence about because it, it genuinely just didn't even make sense from a rational standpoint, a realistic viewpoint I don't know it just it never made sense the opposition to proper security just never never clicked with me we all have locks and doors to protect our own homes there's a lot of us that live in gated communities not even just for home but gated apartment building complexes to protect our own little community we have armed guards and security to protect our banks our politicians our celebrities yet for our own country there's people and politicians advocating for nothing. It doesn't make sense to me. How are you as a politician, some of these people, living behind a 24 seven gated community, but you want open borders for America? Miss ma'am, you don't even live behind open borders yourself. And on top of that, I'm a racist for wanting civil border protection and building a wall. Like how is that anything racist when you're the same people hippering and hollering for Ukraine and Palestine for them to have protection, for them to have a border, for them to secure their country. Now you care about security? Where's the consistency here? I remember back when President Trump wanted to build a border wall and everybody kept talking about, oh, it's too much money, it's too expensive. I'm sorry, the amount of money he was asking for is equivalent to the price of a new football stadium. It's not that much money in the grand scheme of things. At that, we just gave nearly $100 billion to Ukraine so we can protect Ukraine, we care about them, but we don't even protect and care about our own border, about all the drugs being smuggled in. Like mentioned in my border video, we got Indians, Chinese people, Russian people, flying into Mexico to come up and in, into our country illegally. We got women and children out here being uh, branded and shipped and trafficked all across the country, drugs being smuggled in at record rates. And then there's us, again, watching our cities crumble, going through this inflation, gas prices high, the groceries high, everything's just changing different, the crime rates going up, it's ghetto. It does not make sense to me. Why can't we just fight and start to protect our own borders? You literally have a front door with a lock. You protect your own home. Why can't we protect our own country? If you were a business, owner you're protecting your business you're gonna have locks you're gonna have cameras why can't we do the same for our own country and where we live in the place that we vote the place that we have our rights because again these illegal immigrants are coming here for a reason there's so many liberal americans that they just hate the idea of america and how bad we are but they don't even acknowledge the sheer amount of people that are really striving to come here because everywhere else in the world is so bad we got it good here in america i'm sorry we up here chilling y'all chilling and there's far too too many people that don't even realize that woke ideology i'm so tired of this fake diversity that the left media and democrats are pushing on to everybody it's played out it's old it's dusted I, I i'm tired of it we need black representation we need gay representation we need women representation we're sick of it just give me quality all i want is quality i want a quality business i want a quality doctor i don't want and i'm sure you don't either i don't want the first black trans woman heart doctor no if i'm getting heart surgery i'm sure for myself and i'm sure for you you just want the best doctor Forget who it is, you want the best supreme, supreme top heart surgeon. That's what we should be caring about, the merit, the quality of the people and who they are. Between this whole representation thing and affirmative action, I really do feel like it sets so many of us back. Because now you got people out here really thinking and questioning their own self-worth and then the people outside looking within thinking, did they even deserve to be here in the first place? Did this woman get the job because of her resume or did she get the job because she's a woman and we need a woman on the board? Did this black actor get this role because he's a good actor or they needed to diversify the crew and they needed a black man on set? They truly have stripped people the opportunity 
to to feel rewarded, to really feel like they accomplished something because of the merit and the quality they're putting in. And now you just have a lot of people just being picked based off the basis of their skin color, their gender, and who they're having sex with. And that's the opposite of what we've been striving for. We don't want to be judged like this, but all of a sudden, now with the identity politics, we are being judged this way. It honestly does just feel like a lot of liberals are confusing this idea of diversity of representation with the diversity of thought. Because personally, I'd much rather listen to a panel of four white men who all think differently than a panel of four different races and skin colors who all think the same. Because yes, sure, does this panel of the four different races and genders, do they look completely different? Does it look diverse? Yes, but it's a panel of four white men who all think differently that's going to add more intellectual diversity to the conversations at hand. That's going to be a fruitful conversation. There's going to be more debates. There's going to be more solutions. There's going to be more talking about what to come up with and what to create and further in this country. But to sit here and listen to a diverse panel of people who all look different but they all think the same that's not gonna get us anywhere sure it looks pretty it looks like oh my gosh it looks like me i can relate yada 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 it looks pretty and cute but in the long term in the actual things that matter it, it it doesn't it really doesn't like this woke ideology is driving me up a wall and driving a lot of us up the wall and it's pushing us further and further away from the left into this like politically homeless void radical behavior again it's like you're so proud to be the party of diversity and inclusion and acceptance the liberals and the democrats but the second you have someone who thinks for themselves you're exiling them and you're calling them bigots you're calling them radical you're kicking them out you're being rude you're trying to cancel them you're trying to ruin their job you're trying to dox them like what happened to having fruitful conversations there's a lot of things on the right that i do agree with but there's still some things that i don't right so i'm in this void of like i'm i lean more right i have more republican friends but i'm still independent at heart like i don't lay with myself uh Democrat, or I also don't leave myself as a Republican either. I think for myself, I vote on the values of whoever's running. And when it comes to topical conversations or like the items that I listed off in this video, I do lean right on them because it's like the right is the only people I'm seeing willing to have a conversation and really come to a solution. Whereas the left is just so all or nothing attitude. It's all or nothing with everything that they're doing. Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ community, border security. Like it's everything is just, you have to ride with us. You have to believe everything we believe and it's the center and it's the right that's really having these fruitful conversations that i'm honestly a fan of like i'm sure just like you i'm just tired i'm tired of the bs whatever you may be you don't have to be a democrat you're allowed to think for yourself you're allowed to come up with your own conclusions and that's okay like have i voted republican in the past for sure yes i have but that's because between democrat and republicans i feel like i have no choice I really do, and I don't align with a lot of things that Democrats are pushing and hyper and hollering for. I just can't sit here in good faith and and align myself with the Democrats and the liberals. There's a very little that I align myself with on that side, but they're so far removed from my values and what I want for my future family, what I think a society should be, that I just... I, I'm not one of them. I'm, I cannot claim to be. Again, there's a decent amount that I disagree with on the Democrats. And I'm not saying that Republicans are perfect either, but I am saying there's a lot of things on the Democrat liberal side that I just do not relate with. I do not condone. And I'm here to say that if you are black and gay, you don't have to be on that side either. Even outside of that, outside of race and sexuality, whoever is watching this video, you do know you can think for yourself and you're allowed to. Do not allow yourself to be led by mainstream media, any politician, influencer, whatever it may be. You control your life. You control where you're getting your information. Think for yourself. At the bare minimum, all I really want for you to do is know why you believe the things you believe. To have a firm foundation. To really understand and in full faith know why you feel the way you feel. And to stop walking around aimlessly lost. To stop depending on this influencer to say a certain thing. To stop depending on what your family is telling you. To stop leaning on what your school is teaching you. You can think for yourself. And, I, and, and man, for so long, I had no idea why I felt the way I felt about certain topics. I was just being told how to think. And enough is enough. So... With that being said, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate you a ton. And as always, do know that you can be and will achieve anything you put your mind to on this planet. Just focus on you, only you, and you will accomplish all your goals and dreams you have set for yourself. So with that being said, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video. Love you a ton, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.